The scores of dead have nourished me. The Emperor. This galaxy is mine. It's time. I claim it. It is 7 in the morning, the live stream from the Cantina Life event, Star Wars The Old Republic Celebration from Anaheim 2015 has just finished. In the next 10-15 minutes, whatever long this video lasts, you will understand all the most important parts, because the stream lasted one hour, and like always, Musko and uh, his companions did not say enough things to fill in the full hour, so I'm gonna shrink down and tell you guys what was the most important. First of all, I begin with the trailer. The trailer is very short, it shows many old images, a couple of old dialogue uh, lines, but the most important, we get to hear new things from the Emperor. He is Vichyat now, he is not Emperor anymore, because the Empire has turned against him, as we probably very well know already. Really very short, and uh, we know what's going to happen, because most of you have probably heard or seen video materials, hopefully mine as well. I have a lot of videos about Zios from both points of view. We know that Zios on PTS was not completed, and they've stated that officially. They've also tickled us somehow that apparently there is more story and more content before 3.2. I don't know what and how exactly are they going to fit, but because right now it's 19th of April and Zyost in 3.2 is supposed to launch in about 10 days. This video will not be strictly going like the previous one. Over the details and the bullet points for the stream, I will add a little bit of my own personal opinion next to what the four people said. First spoke Musco. His speech was quite long with the other guys interrupting from time to time whenever they wanted to say something. I will highlight the most important and probably the only one new thing he said and probably the only one new thing that was announced in this live stream. 12th time experience or so-called epic story XP boost is returning. As of May 4th, 2015, the epic story boost will return. It will be only for subscribers, just like the original ones in November and December. It is because of the celebration for May the 4th, that's why they've chosen that day to begin with, and they've said that it will last a very long time, but it will not be forever. How much is very long? We can just speculate a month, two, five, doesn't really matter, does it? Going on through my bullet points that are written here in front of me. Coming soon to the game, they haven't said anything beyond 3.2, which is very disturbing. They did a little bit of a review and recap of what happened to Shadow of Revan, how they've created the most challenging boss encounter, Revan. They've announced the same things that they have shown in the previous live stream, and I've explained them in uh, good detail in my previous live stream recap, which was actually the live stream from Sotor on Twitch, that's their own developer stream. Let's see, we have a new mount code. This mount code is given to everybody who got the flash drive as a reward for being a participant in the Cantina Life event. When you go home, you can activate that code and you'll get the mount. You see the picture, the ugly looking, in my opinion, purple mount. And one special item. They didn't tell us what it is. And since I haven't activated my code, I got it for free from Sotor family. Thank you, Mark. When you get home, you can activate that link and you'll get another link that you can share with five of your friends. Every one of these five friends, when they activate the link, they will get their own new link that they can share with other five people. And this is making very easy for everybody to own, eventually at some point, all of these special items. They teased a little bit the reason for creating the six Jedi line, because we know, according to the code of the Jedi, there are no six lines, it's just the five lines. The sixth one is kind of a militaristic line, and uh, without going too deep into the lore, everybody can read the Wikipedia, I suppose. Uh, they are militaristic organization which don't really obey the code, and so on and so on. 
Another cool feature we already know about is that all the taxi points will be unlocked when you land on a new planet. It doesn't matter which one the planet is. For example, they mentioned Alderaan because Alderaan is not a central point uh, radiating to every other thing like Voss, for example. So in Alderaan, in order to get from the beginning to the end, you have to manually walk there and unlock each one of these things. Now they will be automatically unlocked. Very cool quality of life improvement. Outfit designer. There is no need to say anything more. I will just put the link here to my overview. I've talked about, what is it, 10-12 minutes about the outfit designer. I've showed everything. If there are changes to the live version when it launches live, I will probably edit the video or maybe release a new one if it needs be. They've also shown a cool new mount, which according to the contents of the uh, USB stick, will probably be a part of the cartel market. Not a special reward for subscribers or any other kind of special reward, just purchasable from the cartel store. It really looks cool, reminds me, reminds us of the mount that uh, Obi-Wan used in episode 2 of Star Wars. They didn't give a date for the release of these things. We've already spoken about 12X, and I just want to remind you guys one more time that this will be only available feature for subscribers. The next reward that will be available to players as of May the 4th and also celebrating the special Star Wars holiday will be a little astromech droid. We also saw the same screenshot in the previous stream. So again, nothing really new here. There is another very cool thing that you're about to see screenshots from. These screenshots are also a part of the USB stick. New Galactic Stronghold is incoming and it's located on Yavin 4. I must admit, the screenshots look fantastic. Everything looks very detailed. This will by far be probably my most favorite one. If there is rain on the balcony and on the windows, it's gonna be even better. They've announced something like new information about this stronghold that eventually it will contain more hooks than the current four. I don't decorate myself. I'm not very well familiar with how many each one of them has, but if they say the new one will have more, then that's awesome. They've explained to us that Zyost was not complete. If you've seen my playthrough, you know that the, the last quest, after hearing the voice of the Emperor, which was epic, we, we, we are left hanging like this. And nothing more has been explained to us. It's most likely that they've cut the storyline and... That's it for PTS. We need to see more things and be surprised about more things. Unfortunately, this little bit of information that I just told you in, what, five, six minutes? They've talked and talked about this thing for like 30, 35 minutes. The rest of the portion of... Uh, the remaining portion of the live stream was covered with random, and I'm air, air, air quoting here, random questions because most of them were really ridiculous. I didn't type and record all of them, but I did most of them, which ones I considered better. If you would like, probably you can find all of the questions uh, written down and their answers on Dofi or on Tor community. First question, will Mandalore ever play a role in Star Wars The Old Republic? They didn't give a definitive answer because we know that story, that lore, they never give up any hints of upcoming store eventually. They only say that this would be cool. Yeah, it would be cool. Second question, for someone with zero MMO experience, what is your best advice? Their answer was, use the 12x XP. That's what they said, really stupid Bioware. New people and new players should enjoy the game the way it was meant to be enjoyed, slowly going through all the planets and enjoying thoroughly all of the content, all the side quests. These dialogues should never be skipped. They've spent years working on the planet quests and even the side quests and everything else, lower objects. God knows how many things new players will skip if they only go and do the main story. Yes, they will get to enjoy the main class story. They're all fantastic, eh, with an exception on one and two maybe. But it's really worth to have eight main stories. And if you decide to play them with different point of view, light side, dark side, gray side, different specs for the different advanced classes, you do really have a lot of combination before you get bored and before you use up all of the 12x bonuses. Next question. Any plans to add new companions? 
they were very happy that Trick is popular and has been one of the most popular introductions to the game for the last year or one and a half years. I, remem I don't remember when Trick was introduced. Um, that means that there is a very good chance that we will see more of this type of companions introduced to Star Wars The Other Public in the future. They didn't announce near future or distant future or ever. They did hint, however, that they love Trick and we may see something similar bound to the cartel store again in the future, which means because they hinted trick, it will probably be the next new companion, the same one or the shared one between all the classes, which means it will be a unique companion for everybody, not unique, but one for everybody, and it will have one story for all of us. Next question is, is there a chance to add more hoots in the stronghold? We covered this and uh, they've explained that they're actually trying to expand them. Yes, but it's not easy, probably because of technical limitations of the crappy engine the game is uh, using. Yavin 4 has been given as an example because apparently it will have more hooks than the previous uh, homes or strongholds. The next question is a cool one. Will Wookiees be a playable race? And the funny short answer was, it is on the wall of crazy. But then they started talking and talking about this. And from their speech, it actually kind of means that it, it is actually possible. Not tomorrow, the next month, maybe even not this year. But some, at some point down the, the future, whenever the engine maybe is fixed or changed or replaced. So the Wookiees could be animated properly without breaking the servers. We're... Next question. Will pure bloods have more hair options? This was a surprising question and the answer was even more surprising. It didn't they didn't realize that there was a shortage of hair options. Nice job by where. Next one. Are you going to make some items in the game stackable in the bugs? Apparently, yes, we love the changes to some of their stack, uh, stackable items that they made up to 99, but I guess they've missed many others. And that question is trying to cover these examples of the items that are not stackable up to 90. For example, I can think of uh, a kind of a stupid little buff meal from the cantina vendor on the fleet. I can't remember its name, but never mind. The answer from Bioware is sure, yes. We do have plans for adding more. Um, just let you know, just let us know what do you need? Which ones of these things do you think should be stacking more than what they currently have as a limit? The next question is, can we have costumes for Wookiees, Mon Calamari and other similar species uh, like these, who, which are not available in the game, but we've seen many NPCs? The question was asked just for role-playing, not for combat, which would make the animation of the costumes a lot easier, I expect. The answer was, at some point in the future, maybe they like the suggestion. Next question, any plans to redesign boss encounters to make them more melee friendly? And here the answer. They said they need more feedback. Hey, come on, five months of feedback is not enough, really? This actually means that there hasn't been any changes prepared or considered for the near foreseeable future, eventually. They said that in the office, Bioware teams and designers and developers, they're making their own groups in the office, playing together with all full melee. What now? Are we doing story mode testing? They were doing that, apparently, to prove that the encounters are doable. Yes, everything is doable in story mode, we know it. The next question is, will the secret boss from PTS on Zeos be opened in 3.2 or later, or maybe sooner? Because I haven't done that boss, I wasn't sure exactly what the person was asking for. But yes, we've all seen the screenshots. Some of us have seen some videos on YouTube here and there with that new giant boss in the new secret area, which wasn't really easily reachable. Here is the answer. Before 3.2, more is going to happen. Expect surprises. What exactly is going to happen in the next 10 days between now when the stream ended and when 3.2 is supposed to launch? What exactly can Bauer give to us? Do we have some kind of a small prequel introduced before the Zaost quest? The next question is, 
Is there any chance for a football practice arena or a, a, a area on the guild ship, on the stronghold or anywhere else? The answer from the developers was yes, that's a great suggestion and we will think about it. We're going back to introduce this uh, hint to our team and see what their response would be. So stay tuned, we'll come back with an answer, uh, if I may add, next year. The next question, and also the last one. Will we get to see the Emperor on his original true body as a pure blood? If I may add here, my lore video, my next upcoming lore video will be about the Great Galactic War and we will learn how the Emperor started, what is the origin of Vishyati, uh, what is his role, early role in his life, what's his role in the Great Galactic War and so on and so on. The answer from the developer team, they are actually community team, they are not developers, these four people. They answered with an answer. What if this is not the true form of Vishyati? What if there is more to this story? So, is this a hint to what's coming before, in or after 3.2, within the 3.2 update? This is all the bullet points and all the information I could extract from the stream. If I have missed something, please, someone who has watched it, help me down in the comment section, add whatever you think I've missed, or maybe correct me if I quoted things wrong. They've talked a lot about stupid things and I have to be honest with you guys, right here in the end of this video, I do sound a little bit disappointed. I am a little bit disappointed. I was really hoping to hear more about the promised summer expansion there wasn't a single word about that for one hour it was actually 52 minutes if i'm not mistaken we did not hear anything and i mean anything about the next expansion or expansions not the word about the summer one not about a word about Tugruta, not a word about the winter expansion which i'm trying to keep my hopes up that it will be in 2015 but as someone in the comments on twitch mentioned even if it's on the 31st of december it is still 2015 yeah this is my recap of the cantina live stream from the celebration anaheim i did add a lot of my personal comments and opinions because really the information was absolutely scarce and Almost nothing new has been mentioned. Yes, we have cool new screenshot, mostly of Zyost and the new stronghold. One new mount, and that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. Even though I probably wasn't very informative, it's, I don't think it's my fault. I thank you for uh, staying until the end of the video. If you would like to support me, the best way is to disable ad blocker on YouTube. Maybe you could consider throwing in a dime or two and become my patrons on Patreon. I have a link to my Patreon account right here. See you next time, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Remember, you can find me also on Twitch, Twitter and Facebook. For my non-Star Wars activities, I invite you to subscribe to my second YouTube channel.